You're watching the Sony Xperia 5 Mark II disassembly. First, we need to remove the SIM tray. Next, we're going to use a hairdryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath the back plate. And then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. So here's the back plate and it is glass, so you can't really bend it too much. There are 13 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Once the screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the plastic cover. So here's your plastic cover on top. You have some graphite film over here, which sits all over the battery and helps transfer heat. You also have your NFC antenna located right here. And there are also a lot of antenna lines running throughout this plastic piece, all these gray or light colored lines. And here's the back side. Now we're gonna disconnect the battery cable. Once the battery cable is disconnected, we can disconnect the rest of the cables. We have two wire cables here we're going to pop off. Now let's disconnect the headphone jack cable and remove that and your front facing camera. Here's a better look at your front facing camera and here's your headphone jack. You have two Phillips screws holding down your dual layer board. One's located here and you have one over here. Now once we have those screws removed, we're going to lift up and remove the main board. Keep in mind on the other side of the board over here where the microphone is located, there's some adhesive. So while you're lifting up your main board, you're going to have to pry that adhesive off as well. So here's your main board. You have your cameras here obviously. Your secondary mic is located over here. You have your flash right there. And here you can see it's a dual layer board, which is basically one motherboard sitting on top of another one. Now here's the other side of the main board. You have your proximity sensor located over here on top. You have a notification LED located right here. Your SIM card and memory card reader is located right here. You have two circular thermal pads right here. And you have some graphite film located over here. So the graphite film over here would basically help transfer any heat from the cameras. You have two Phillips screws over here, holding on the bracket that's covering the connectors for the cameras. Once those screws are removed, you can lift up and remove the bracket. And you have access to disconnecting the cameras. Removing the metal shield reveals more circular thermal pads underneath on top of the chips, of which one of them is the processor. So back to the mid-frame, there seems to be some copper tape in between the screen and the mid-frame, but no vapor chamber or any copper plate on this side of the mid-frame. So basically on this side, the thermal pads will just help transfer heat to the mid-frame, and the graphite film will help transfer the heat to where this copper tape is underneath the cameras. So we're going to lift up the speaker assembly, but be careful because this wire cable right here is still attached to a flex cable underneath. So when lifting up, we're gonna have to disconnect the wire cable. And we can run the cable off the speaker assembly. Here's a better look at your speaker assembly. You have some antenna lines running through it. And here's the other side. On the bottom right hand corner, you have another wire cable here you have to disconnect. Just pop it up. And you have one Phillips screw over here you have to remove. There's flex cable here after disconnect. There's also some adhesive underneath this small board where the microphone is. So now we're going to lift up and remove it and pry that adhesive off. So here's the back side of that board where the adhesive is or where the microphone area is. So from the looks of it, this will help filter out dust or water. Here's the other side. You have your main microphone located right here. 
So you have your linear vibrator motor located here, and to disconnect the cable for that, you have to pop off the cable from the flex cable underneath it, so separate the white portion from the black connector. Here's a better look at it. Here's the back side. Now you have the flex cable over here for your screen. Just separate it from the flex cable underneath where it's connected to. At this point, we're going to go ahead and remove the battery. You have a pull tab over here. Just going to pull it. You have another one on this other corner. Now we can lift up and remove the battery. Here's a better look at your battery. Here's the back side. Now we have this flex cable over here for your charger port. And lift up and remove it. There's a red rubber gasket around your charger port over here. Here's the other side. So at this point you're left with your mid frame, your earpiece speaker over here on top. You have this flex cable over here, which is for all the buttons you have on the side. You also have five Phillips screws on this side of the mid frame, holding down a bracket that's covering all your buttons on the side. So you'd have to remove those screws in order to be able to remove the flex cable as well as the buttons on the side. As far as replacing the screen goes, same as always, you're going to have to heat up the front of the phone so you can lose some of the adhesive underneath the screen and then you'd pry your screen off. Making sure you run your flex cable over here for the screen through the slit in the mid frame and then you'd apply new adhesive and then apply your new screen back onto the front. Making sure you run your flex cable back through the slit in the mid frame and then you'd go ahead and reassemble the phone. Alright now I'm going to go ahead and put the phone back together. Once all your screws are back in place, apply new adhesive, reapply your back plate. Flip over your phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.